Hello everyone and welcome back to The Money Man. Now, I recently did a video on the new series of Gambian banknotes, which were released towards the end of 2019. And that video was really popular. Uh, it seems you guys are very, very interested in African nations banknotes. So what I thought I'd do is go back and get hold of one of the previous series of Gambian banknotes um, and tell you a little bit about the history um, of the former leader of the Gambia and why they've changed their banknotes in recent years. So what I've got here is a series from the early 2000s um, and it's basically the series of Gambian banknotes that feature the recently removed leader, Dr. Yaya Jama. Now, here is the lowest denomination, which is the five, and you can see Dr. Yaya Jama is prominently featured just on the right side of the note. And he actually is on every single banknote within this series. And I'll tell you a little bit about him as we go along. But you can see, much like the new series that's just been released, these banknotes celebrate the flora and fauna of the Gambia, and you'll see that there's usually a bird or another animal prominently featured in the centre of the banknote, which is really, really nice. And I've got to say, the colour scheme of these banknotes is really, really good as well. And you'll see that in the watermark, it's a little bit hard to see, but it's supposed to be a crocodile. Um, and you can see there's sort of lots of sort of tribal imagery going through the banknote. Really, really nice designs, actually, to say that the value of these banknotes is very, very low. They're actually pretty good quality. So let's spin it around and look at the back. Now on the reverse, you can see some cattle herders. And you'll notice that um, you know a lot of the imagery is pretty much the same as the new series. Um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, please do go ahead and watch that previous video that I made. It will contextualize a lot of what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Um, but yeah, you can see just a nice image of some cattle herders right there. So that's the lowest denomination, that's the five. Now the next one is the 10, and you can see that Jammer is there again, exactly the same portrait which is carried throughout the entire series. Now, like I said before, the Gambia has decided to depoliticize their banknotes, and what I mean by that is they've removed the image of the incumbent leader, and the reason that that is happening uh, across many countries in Africa is because of political instability, basically. Now, many nations in Africa, um, you know, suffer from various forms of political instability. And there are particular nations that remove their leaders quite often. There might be coup d'etats, revolutions, whatever, assassinations, you know, these things happen. And if you've got a leader on the front of your banknote, every time the leader gets kicked out, you need to change the banknotes again. So... A lot of countries in Africa have adopted this new approach of just not putting the incumbent leader on the banknote for this very, very reason. And it may be the reason why the Gambia has followed suit. And I think it also speaks towards the democratic aspirations of a country. They don't want you know, their banknotes to be dominated by a single personality. They don't want to have the same person in power for 30 or 40 or 50 years. So I think it sort of speaks to that democratic aspiration as well. Um, but if we spin it around and look at the back, you can see we've got a building on the back. I'm not too sure what it is. It could be um, the central bank building. In, um, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, quite prominently featured on the reverse of this note. Now, the next one is the 20 which is right here. And again, the color schemes in these banknotes are really, really nice. Very, very beautiful banknotes. And you can see that the security strip becomes quite prominent here with the denomination of 20 represented with this nice sort of diamond type pattern going through it. Very, very nice banknote. And you can see that we've got Jammer again looking, you know, pretty happy. Um, and the interesting thing on the back here is um, we've got this building which is an image that's carried on into another banknote which I'll show you in a moment but this to me looks like a pretty important building possibly a presidential palace something like that it's got very sort of colonial era design so I imagine that this is a hangover from the colonial days um, must have been an old governor's residence or something like that that's been converted into the presidential palace but that's just a guess I'm just shooting from the hip here um, but yeah that's the 20 now there was another banknote that was um, issued a little bit later, a polymer banknote, unusually, 
um, and you can see it's the 20 and they changed the color scheme um, to green which is a bit unusual um, and one thing that I really don't like about this note is the security feature it, it's kind of comically bad it's supposed to be a crocodile but it, it just it took me about 30 seconds of just blankly staring at it like, oh yeah it's a crocodile <laughs> it's just really poor um, so I, I don't know where this banknote was printed or by what company but it, it's not great um, but you can see that um, it's it's a commemorative and it says 22nd of July 2014 uh, 20 years of progress and self-reliance um, yeah interesting so spin it around and look at the back you can see right here we've got that same um, important building represented on the back there and one of the interesting things about Jammer is that um, he is accused of expropriating the equivalent of millions of US dollars worth of money from the Gambian state, from the treasury and actually when he stepped down as leader in 2017 um, a lot of his assets were frozen in other countries um, so there is believed to be a great deal of corruption surrounding him and a lot of controversy um, so he's definitely been lining his own pockets whilst he was in power um, which is a great shame you know for the Gambian people but anyway let's keep going the next one is the 50 beautiful color scheme one thing to note about um, the Gambia as well is that you know obviously we've got Arabic here which represents the the Muslim population um, you know there's a if you if basically basically um, along a sort of central dividing line in Africa you've got a big divide between the the Muslim and the Christian um, African populations and many countries actually have a combination of both and you can usually see that languages like Arabic and English are represented or French and you've got that sort of Arabic Muslim influence but then you've got the also the, the colonial influence as well and it's still represented in the languages that are on the banknotes so you can actually figure out a lot of a country's history particularly African countries just by looking at the languages represented in the banknotes um, but yeah quite an interesting point there spin it around and look at the bank this is on the new series of banknotes uh, it's a very prominent uh, ancient archaeological site uh, there are many stone circles like this in the Gambia but this is one of the most prominent and oldest um, so yeah okay next one is the 100 and this is a really beautiful banknote in my opinion this is the most beautiful it's really really nice and you can see that the security strip starts to become more prominent um, and um, instead of having the denomination come up we've got these small circular patterns here um, I'm not too sure what it is um, but it's quite nice um, and you can see there's more of a contrast in the color scheme so very very nice banknote spin it around and look at the back um, some kind of archway I think from the images they're a little bit hard to see but I don't know if this commemorates independence or something like that but it looks to me that there's something to do with like peace and hope of the future in this so I don't know if it's some kind of war memorial or an independence memorial or something like that if anybody knows please let me know in the comments I'd love to find out more um, but again I'm just shooting from the hip here again okay now the final one is the highest denomination it's the 200 and you can see it's the most sophisticated banknote in terms of security features given that it's the highest denomination we've got the security strip and we've got this reflective strip here as well with this sort of ghostly image of Jammer it's kind of strange when you tip it up to the light <laughs> um, yeah <laughs> um, but you know it's, it's the highest denomination so it's got to be the most sophisticated in terms of its security features but I do find it kind of comical how it catches the light and it turns all sort of colors you know where, where his eyes sort of pop out and stuff yeah anyway I don't mean any offense I just I just find it quite entertaining but you can see how you've got the uh, you know the 200 denomination marked you know in in the uh, the reflective strip as well um, so that's quite nice um, spin it around and look at the back and you can see actually on the back here we've got the international airport 
um, Banjul International Airport. Um, so obviously that building is quite new. So a sort of nod to Gambia's progress, I guess, and um, um, development of infrastructure. So yeah, so that is the highest denomination banknote. I think this series is absolutely cracking. And given the trend of sorry, depoliticization of banknotes, which is occurring across the continent of Africa, this may well be one of the last sets of politicized Gambian banknotes, um, maybe African banknotes in general, given the trend that's going on. We'll have to wait and see. But the history behind these is fascinating, and I really, really do like this set of banknotes. I think it's very, very visually appealing. So let me know what you think. Do you like the previous series with Jamma the Best, or do you think the new ones are better? For me, I find the 100 and the 200 in this series exquisite, and I think they're much better than the new Gambian banknotes that were released recently. So that's all I have for you today, so let me know what you think in the comment section, there's much more to come, I've got more videos on African banknotes coming very very soon. Thank you so much for watching, it's The Money Man, signing out for now, bye bye.